do. Now, the reason I'm using gas is because I've entered the World Potters Championships. I'm into the final 30. I've got a 1 in 30 chance of being a world champion. And they use gas on their burners. So I've got some Hamlin's oatmeal and some sea salt from the Isle of Skye Sea Salt Company. They're both sponsors of the World Potters Championships. So I've decided to bring along some of their products. Measure out half a cup of oatmeal, and a cup of water. Now I've brought along a spiritle. This is the traditional porridge making tool. <laughs> but the winner of the World Porridge Championships wins a golden spiritle. So who knows, maybe in October I will have a golden one. Although for now, I think I'll just stick with the wood. Apparently you have to use the spiritle anti-clockwise, otherwise you accidentally summon the devil or something. That would be a bad start to any day if the devil turns up when you're making your breakfast, I would have thought. And then we'll put some of this Isle of Sky sea salt in. The championship rules are quite strict in that you can only use water, oatmeal and salt. That's your three ingredients. There's also a speciality competition where you can make anything you like. I'll have to work on some ideas for that because you've got to do both at the same time. Right, that looks about ready. There we go, potential world championship winning porridge, maybe. I think I might need a bit more practice though. I've been trying to cook cheaper things nowadays because the prices of everything's going up and fuel to go camping is more and more expensive. So porridge is a really cheap meal, very good for you as well. So I'm gonna go and enjoy this and enjoy the scenery here and then have a walk around and then head back down the coast. Good, nice and warm. <laughs> 